I just want to say two things up front. No, this video does not have a shitty meditation robot in it. But I guess you could call any robot that doesn't start a meditation robot. So I've already built a bunch of those. But this video is about a thing that I made to help me meditate every day. And we actually launched a Kickstarter campaign for that product today. And it's the first time I put something out there that I've made for people to buy. And I've been wanting to make real products ever since I was a kid. So it's huge for me. And I'm so nervous and so excited. And also, does that make this video sponsored by me? I don't know how this works. So about two years ago, I was starting to feel really burnt out because I'd been running my YouTube channel for a few years and all of the weird internet stress that comes with that was really starting to get to me, which also sounds like the most millennial health problem of all time. <laughs> but I was really struggling with stress as a lot of us are. And I decided to start meditating every day as a way to deal with that. And I kind of wanted to build like a gold star system for myself because I was a teacher's pet growing up. I love a good gold star. But also I thought about other times in my life when I try to add a habit to my life or change something. And like week one, I'd always be like, I got this. And week two, you'd be like, I still kind of have it, but it's not as fun anymore. And week three, it'd be like, wait, what are we talking about now again? <laughs> so I made myself this calendar. Oh gosh. <laughs> feels like bringing out an old book from a library. The thought was that every day where I did yoga and meditated for 10 minutes, I would get to flip the switch for that day as just like a little treat. And earlier this year, I started thinking about like, can I turn this into an actual product? And we put together a team of engineers and we made this. Did we just prop it up on a table with double-sided tape? Yes. Also, are the LEDs flickering because I don't have the energy to adjust the frame rate on my camera? Yes. Those things are both true. I call this the everyday calendar and I use it for meditation and yoga, but you could use it for anything really, like any daily habit that you wanna add to your life, like flossing or exercising or being smoke free or writing your journal or practicing an instrument or telling your parents that you love them. That's good, mama, papa. And on days where you keep your habit, you get to tap that day and light it up. See, just did it. Hugging, <laughs> you could even use it to track your period. Maybe we'll make like a limited run with red LEDs that's specific for period tracking. The opportunities are endless. Really early on, we realized that we wouldn't be able to use mechanical components for it. So no like mechanical switches or buttons like for the earlier calendar, because whenever you have 365 of something, the cost just really adds up and we would have had to sell it for like a thousand dollars, which is just ridiculous. We decided to use capacitive touch, which alleviates the need for mechanical components. And also we were like, could we just make this out of printed circuit board? It's what's in pretty much every electronic product you've ever used, but it's always tucked away and hidden on the inside. It was such a fun challenge to see if we could design the printed circuit board to be what you interact with and see. And it's just like a really uncommon material choice. And that's one of the things I think is really exciting about this project because it's taking this really basic and unassuming material, but we put a bunch of design and work into it and turn it into something that's really nice and sophisticated. Having this calendar in my house where I can clearly see it every day has really worked for me because it just reminds me of all the work I've put in so far and it just gives me the extra nudge I need to actually go meditate and do yoga. It's been 14 months now and I have missed one day and that was because I had my brain surgery, so. Actually, I did it on the day of my surgery. I got up at freaking 4.30 a.m. to do it. And I did it the day after surgery. But two days after surgery, I was like, man, this catheter. I drew my line there. One of the reasons I'm really nervous about launching this product is that I'm worried that people are gonna be like, oh, you're only doing this to earn money or you're just trying to sell us things. And it kind of couldn't be further from the truth because first of all, I'm open sourcing all of this. So if you want to make your own, you can. Also, I'm just investing my own money into it. And there's a high risk that I will just lose money doing this, but it's a risk I'm willing to take because I really believe in this and it's helped me a lot. As much as I love doing YouTube, I realized that I can't run a business that's completely reliant on me being healthy. Because if I can't be in front of the camera or on stage giving talks, everything stops. 
and it's just so brittle. And starting a product design company has been a dream for a really long time. But also, I hope that it can make things a little bit more stable. And if there's a time where I can't do this type of work, things can still keep going. So I really hope you can understand where this comes from and that I have your blessing and your support in this. I couldn't do this without you. And I also wouldn't want to do this without you. So I really hope that you're along for the ride. There's a link in the description to the Kickstarter campaign. If you have a moment, please go check it out. I'll be over at Kickstarter biting my nails and I really hope to see you there. Okay, bye. Also, you can use this calendar to stop biting your nails. <laughs>